Remember the shooting at a Colorado gay nightclub over the past weekend? Well, it turns out that the shooter likes to play the trans game. Memory hole, anyone? Oh, it's true. He ain't lying. I'm Jasper Gonzo, and this is What's Next. Hey guys, Jasper Gonzo here, another episode of What's Next, your daily. Hope you guys are doing well on this Wednesday, Thanksgiving Eve. Well, some people are going to do well. Others, not so much. Colorado did a story the other day in regards to the shootings in Colorado at a gay nightclub in Colorado Springs. Five people dead, over 30 injured. Uh, the accuser, I'm sorry, the shooter, let's be correct here was apprehended. And so you're thinking, okay, further investigation and off we go. No, no, my friends, there's more to the story. It turns out that the shooter likes to play the trans game. Yeah, you know, non-binary and what have you. And isn't that convenient? Let's take a look. This comes out of Breitbart. Report. Colorado gay nightclub shooter identifies as non-binary, uses they, them pronouns. Oh, my, how fun. Anderson Lee Aldrich. That's the first time I mentioned his name. I will not show his picture. The suspect who allegedly shot and killed five people and wounded at least 18 others over the weekend at a LGB what, alphabet nightclub in Colorado identifies as non-binary and uses they, them pronouns according to a court filing Tuesday night. Aldridge, 22, is facing multiple murder charges and hate crime charges stemming from the last weekend shooting. However, Aldridge's public defender revealed that Aldridge is non-binary and uses they-them pronouns, so it can't be a hate crime, or can it? New York Times reported, in addition to the pronouns, Aldridge is referred to Mix Aldridge in the court filings. Yes, you know, MX, how lovely. Anderson Aldridge is non-binary, a footnote in the filing states, they-them pronouns, and for the purpose of all former filings, will be addressed as M.X. Aldrich. No, he'll be addressed as a piece of shit. The news about Aldrich's gender identity came after Democrats and members of the corporate press politicized the shooting and blamed Republicans for the tragedy, of course, because of guns and, of course, Trump and MAGA. For example, NBC's Ben Collins claimed that the Republican politician, the Internet's far-right machine, targeted alphabet individuals in the months leading up to the nightclub shooting. Yes, they even blamed Ron DeSantis and his bill to protect children from groomers. Yeah. But I think we have to come to a Jesus moment as reporters here. Oh, no, you came to a moment, but... It was nothing to do with Jesus. Collins told MSNBC, we are far more afraid of being on Breitbart for saying that trans people deserve to be alive or we're more afraid of dead people because I'm more afraid of dead people. Democrat uh, Representative uh, Little Bartender herself, Sandy Cortez, blasted Colorado Republican Lauren Savage Boebert as a bigot who motivated the shooter shortly after Boebert issued a statement condemning the violence in her home state. She condemned it Yet, the little bartender tried to pin her with the shooting. Nice. Quote, Lauren, you played a major role in elevating the anti-alphabet movement hate rhetoric and anti-trans lies while spreading, spending your time in Colorado blocking even the most common sense gun safety laws. Cortez tweeted, you don't get thoughts and prayers. Your way out of this? Look inward and change. Yes, for someone who's been kissing the ass and grabbing both angles of the Democratic Party since she got elected. Yeah, how rich. Quote, dehumanizing rhetoric leads to dehumanizing actions, which quickly translate into violence, shootings, assaults, worse, Sandy said in an Instagram post, of course. Audrey is set to make a virtual court appearance from jail on Wednesday, the Denver Post reported. Now, this was a short one, but I wanted to go to this story only because this is literally breaking as of last night. This comes out of the Post Millennial. Breaking multiple fatalities, injuries reported in shooting in Chesapeake, Virginia at a local Walmart. CPD believes that there is only one shooter who is now dead, but warned people to stay clear of the area. Police in Chesapeake, Virginia responded Tuesday night to an active shooter situation at Walmart just off Battlefield Boulevard approximately 10 p.m. Leo Koneski. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. A spokesman for the Chesapeake PD said that there were multiple fatalities and injuries, 
Police are still clearing the building. Police said there were injuries and fatalities found inside the store where the shooter occurred. One person was found dead outside of the front entrance. According to police, less than 10 people had died. Oh my God. And the injuries were rushed, and the injured, excuse me, were rushed to multiple area hospitals. City of Chesapeake, we're only a few hours into the response, so we don't have all the answers yet. Chesapeake police continue to investigation into the active shooter event at Walmart on Sam Circle. We do not know, um, we do know that there are multiple fatalities, plus injuries, and the shooter is confirmed dead. Spokesperson for Central Norfolk General Hospital, the area's top trauma center, told uh, local news that five patients were waiting to be treated there. In my opening, I said that this story is going to get a uh, memory hold. And sadly, it will. The media will try to do everything in their power to make this story go away. Because when it was just an active shooter who shot up a gay nightclub, oh, this guy's a hater. This guy's a bigot. This guy's a phobic. He needs to be put out of his misery. And of course, since he had a gun, Blame Trump, MAGA, Republicans, conservatives, whoever, you know, because it's their fault. But now that it turns out that homie is a trans, likes to play the trans game, likes to play the nine binary, nine binary game, likes to play the pretend game. Oh, no. Wait a minute. What'd you say? Yeah, we need to make this go away. That's exactly what they're going to do. But those like Tucker Carlson... Ben Shapiro, uh, The Blaze, Steven Crowder, other conservative media will not let this go because you're not going to make this shit go away. It's not going to happen. You're not going to do a Vegas. It's not going to happen. So uh, this should be fun. And sadly, at the lives of five people and almost 30 injured. Now, on the tail end of the story, the story just broke, so I didn't want to do this as a, um, I wanted to do this as a separate story, but it just um, broke too fast. The situation in Chesapeake, Virginia with the shooter. And of course, the investigation is ongoing. So we don't know exactly what's going on other than we do know there are multiple fatalities and injuries. And again, and again, you can bet your next paycheck that the Democrats and the leftist media will blame Republicans will blame MAGA, will blame Trump because of, quote, not having common sense gun reform. Bet on it. With that being said, I'm Jasper Gonzo. This is what's next. Want to see more just like it? Please leave a comment. Please leave a comment below. Excuse me. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.